It's time for business news with Ari Ravinovich. Happy Friday, Ari. You as well, Melissa. And it's been a tough year for Boeing so far, and it new sure safety has. concerns are popping up. And just a few more of them this week, in fact, Melissa. So it's definitely uh, making some pause for concern right now, especially for U.S. regulators. They're going to take an even deeper dive into some of these investigations of Boeing's safety practices in the manufacturing process. So just this week, first off, nobody was seriously injured. But just this week, three separate incidents with Boeing jets, all operated by United Airlines, including one in Houston, which ran off the taxiway and onto the grass after landing, another lost a higher after takeoff in San Francisco and a third leaving Houston had an engine fire. So regulators had already started a new round of investigations after a jet landing in New Jersey had a rudder that became stuck. So these new incidents will likely extend the investigation and Melissa not to mention of course the intense scrutiny ever since that Alaska Airlines incident from January when a door plug blew out midair. So it's definitely uh, the stock is actually down almost 25 percent so far this year just to represent uh, how investors are feeling about it. Okay, now it's been another big week for Bitcoin investors. Exactly. So the, it's not necessarily uh, Boeing isn't uh, unique with in terms of the losses. A lot of stocks have been seeing losses in the past few weeks or so, giving up that uh, bull rally that's been happening since about Halloween or so. As a lot of investors look for alternatives outside of stock markets, maybe with some interest rate concerns about what the economy could hold it maybe this year. So alternatives like Bitcoin are looking pretty good right now for a lot of investors. In fact, Bitcoin is up about 50% so far this year. In fact, just this week, Bitcoin has hit fresh all-time highs, which haven't really been accomplished in more than two years. In fact, just today, Bitcoin hit over $70,000 US, which is now the all-time high, and it's settled at around $68,000. And Bitcoin isn't the only asset seeing a boost this week, Ari. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, Melissa, like a lot of people are trying to find alternatives to stocks if they're feeling maybe it's there's a little bit of economic uncertainty. They want to hedge their bets, so to speak. So Bitcoin is definitely one of them. The traditional means is gold. So actually, gold is also surging in value. This week, gold has actually hit an all-time high, in fact, more than a week. Today was the sixth straight day that gold hit a re new record high, settling around $2,186 the ounce just today, up about $20. And again, fresh all-time highs reached for the six straight days, Melissa. Okay, well, thank you so much, Ari. Have yourself a great weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. You as well.